What's up everybody out of here again and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to make um, the channel art for your YouTube channel. First of all, you kind of need to think about the idea what you want it to look like. For example, this logo I made a while back, probably a year ago, maybe more. So I think it's time to update and as you might know, um, especially since my last tutorial which I did 10 minutes ago, um, I kind of like simplistic logos, right? And I want to make something simple, simple looking, something like Computer Labs. Um, let me show it to you if you haven't seen it yet. Something like this, but I mean, of course, a bit different, like different background and stuff. Um, first of all, you need to know the resolution, right? The resolution of the or the, or the size of the channel art itself. Um, to do so, you just can go to Google, type YouTube channel art, go to images, and there you go. So it already posted it for us. So as you can see, um, the whole size that's kind of required for the YouTube channel art is 2560 by 1440. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to create the file with this size. But the seeable um, resolution that you can see here, I believe it's... 1546 by 423 the tablet the desktop max um, but yeah so what we're gonna do is open the Photoshop <coughs> file new for the size we're gonna put the same um, as you can see it's here 2560 by 1440 And the next thing we're gonna do, of course, is change resolution to 300, just for the heck and the quality. Press OK. Now we're gonna unlock the background by double clicking to it. I'm gonna change the layer name to background. Press Enter. Then we're gonna select the background by holding Ctrl and A, and then press Delete, and Ctrl T, Ctrl D, D as it Dad, I guess, to deselect. And then we're gonna create a new layer just for now okay so how do you want your background look like do you want something simple something just one color or do you want to have some effects for me um, since I said I'm gonna do something simple what I'm gonna do is go to this bucket thing looking icon uh, I'm gonna right click and select the gradient tool here we're gonna choose the colors we want to see on both edges which is gray I think is a good choice and maybe something kind of bluish which is already here press OK and in these boxes I don't really remember how they call but it's basically how the paint or the back or the coloring whatever is gonna spread throughout the canvas and we're gonna do this so it's basically gonna ready the gradient which basically gonna start from the middle and spread 360 so we're gonna go to the middle Hold the left mouse and drag it to the corner. Bam, you can see. It's kind of more grayish here and the rest is bluish. Looks cool, isn't it? Alright, we can even... I always, I always like to keep the background clear, just in case. And we can rename this to original BG as background. We can create a new layer. And I feel like It'll be cool to add something like stars maybe as background with a little opacity. What we're gonna do is go to use Google, type stars, PNG, 1080p. Actually, we don't have 1080p. So actually, the Galaxy maybe, or Galaxy or Galactic stars, PNG images. Then we're gonna see. What looks good and kind of has a big um, resolution or the size of the image. This looks pretty good. The Milky Way Galaxy, I believe. The resolution isn't that bad. Let's see what else is there. That should work, but we could resize it. Yeah. Your image, save as, desktop, save, close this page so we don't need it anymore. And we're gonna open the Milky Way or whatever picture you will use in Photoshop. Now I have this white edges, kind of weird. 
I'm gonna control A to select, control C to copy. Go back to the um, original canvas and press control V. Now, what we're gonna do is go to um, basically blending, I guess, options, whatever it's called, and go to screen to kind of overlay as you can see. And then we're gonna resize it to the size of our own project. I'm gonna zoom out by holding control and um, negative key or minus, whatever you call and call it. Then, still selecting this layer with the galaxy, I'm gonna hold control T. And then we're gonna reposition it kind of here and then resize it. And then use arrows to kind of center it out. I think that looks good. Press enter for the full quality quality and there it is basically have a background and you have a um, galaxy um, layer which we just had which kind of overlaps um, or screens whatever you want to call it the original background wait we choose call it dodge actually let's choose screen we didn't do the right one there you go actually can kind of play around let's see what everything gives us this is original dissolve darken Multiply, color burn, linear. Yeah. I feel like color dodge looks pretty sick compared to screen. Let's see what maybe overlay will do. Now, nah. I'll go with color dodge just because it kind of looks more brighter in the center. And we would also change the opacity, make it more dim or whatever you want, you know? It's all up to you. And I'll go probably with 75. I like that. I love that number in Photoshop. The next thing we're gonna do is to create a different layer, which will be basically a text, maybe with a logo if you want. But I'll just use a text for now. Uh, we're gonna choose T to type, and for the color we're gonna do white. It's gonna be more visible on this background, I suppose. Um, let's see. Click here for size. Imagine there is like a center line. Just probably gonna be something from here to here, which is gonna be like visible on your own YouTube channel. You kinda have to eyeball it and kinda have to see what size you need. And I think maybe 50 would work better. Um, and let's write Relieve Creations. Center it out. Centered. Um, let's see. I think with my look, maybe it's better to do a little bit better, maybe 55. Put it a little bit on top. Make sure it's all centered. Really, it does it for you. As you can see, there was a pink line for this um, for the vertical sink. I mean, centered. Then we're gonna create another layer. If you want to, with a way smaller font. Maybe 14, 12, whatever, and type what's your channel about, or maybe have some quote. My basic channel is about everything. I have tutorials, whatever you want to have, time lapses, um, different kind of projects, you know. So it's, let's say, a little bit of everything. I'm gonna center it as well. It lets me. This does, but it doesn't really show the pink line, but that's fine. Now I'm gonna leave a little bit of space, select the variety of creations, and kind of move it down a little bit, kind of center it out. Then I would recommend you to group it out. So basically, put these two in one group. So what you need is to select both of them. It's either press on one layer of um, letters or whatever, and press Ctrl and click to another one. Now you can see with the two of them, we're gonna create a group. And by doing so, you can you have to press and hold G, Control, then G. Now there is a group. I'm gonna rename it to text, just for better understanding. So what this basically does is when we can when we apply any effects to the group, it will apply to all of the text we have within the group. So we're gonna go to FX, Blending Options, and again we're gonna do Drop Shadow, of course maybe change the distance a little bit not too visible maybe add a little bit of stroke I'll say 
Let's actually work on the coloring or design of the, the logo first. By that, you can either go to color, color overlay, nah, I mean gradient overlay, and see what you can find. And kind of play around with colors, see what you like. Um, I'm gonna save it for later, and I shall go to pattern overlay. And you can, I already have some patterns here, which kind of looks cool. I mean, I they look simple and just different, you know. And I like to make it look more simplistic, so it's just like two colors, top, and call good, and I can change the scale um, to how it's gonna look like. Let me see what I like. I think this is something like this is looks pretty decent. Um, and you can find the patterns online. Just go to Google, type patterns. Photoshop free and there is plenty of patterns you can find for free and it's really easy to install and I think actually I use this website to find mine As you can see they're kind of the same um yeah so one next thing we're gonna do is gradient overlay we're gonna go to the blend mod and choose uh, first does it even do anything Maybe screen, I believe. I don't really remember. Hmm. Go overlay again. Okay. So I kind of kind of play around, see what you like the best. I guess I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I'm not gonna add that. Um. And yeah, press OK, and your logo is complete. Now let's save it, um, save as desktop channel art as a PSD, of course. At first, you have the old project saved, then file, save as. I usually save it as PNG, but since we're working for YouTube and it kind of likes less, um, less bigger files, so we're going to save it as JPEG. Press save. And for the quality, um, I think 10 will be fine. I mean, it's still high quality and it's not gonna be a big file, which is good because you don't want to have a big file on your channel art because every time when people go to your channel, it might take them longer depending on their internet connection. So press OK. Now it's saved. There's channel art. And go to YouTube channel. Click on a corner, edit channel art. Let's see, select it from desktop. There it is. It shows it was perfectly positioned for the phone, kinda. The TV looks perfect and for the desktop. And you can also adjust the crop, but I don't really need to right now. Click select. Boom, it's all done. Nope, I do, you don't want you to see um, any of my stats, I'm sorry. But there it is guys, you basically created your own logo which is really easy with a little bit of effort. If you have any questions, let me know um, in the comments down below. And of course, good luck with all your starting and beginnings. Thanks for watching, bye bye.